Hello everybody, my name is Sergio De Chiara, Global Solution Strategist uh, at LEMC. I take care of blueprints and solutions across EMEA, and today we're going to talk about the Cloud in a Box appliance that the LEMC launched uh, just recently. Let's start to understand why customers should uh, buy this appliance. First of all, as Usually we say no pain, no gain. So what's the customer pain we are trying to overcome? And what are the adoption barriers towards cloud adoption for the typical small and medium business customer? First of all, there is the know-how. Cloud is perceived as something complex. And uh, even though the public cloud provides uh, some facilitators, then it's usually more expensive or perceived as less secure, so customers just do not uh, adopt public cloud in SMB, or those who would like to stay on premise just implement a standard virtualized uh, infrastructure. To, the, to this point, customers apply, uh, needing cloud for flexibility, cost control, and the possibility to scale over the public cloud are blocked by those three barriers, so they end up with uh, the classic two servers, one storage, and um, one switch. Then they deploy the traditional um, virtualization infrastructure with some professional services from a partner or consultant, and then they deploy also a backup tool. For the same amount of money, now we are able to offer an appliance that comes in a much more um, a converged kind of fashion. As you can see, Dell, Power, Dell EMC PowerEdge Vertex, it's uh, um, uh, one of our converged platforms that can combine up to four blades, a shared storage, an internal switch, only in one box. And then this comes populated with three blades, one dedicated to management and two blades or three blades dedicated to compute. and. Uh, all the Microsoft Cloud stack, hypervisor, and management already pre-installed. And uh, on one end, customer will end up with just virtualization, which is so um, uh, unadapted to current business challenges. On the other end side, they can have an advanced virtualization platform cloud ready that can provide much more than just virtualization, but also monitoring, orchestration, local and cloud backup, local and cloud disaster recovery, and a hybrid cloud through data center extension, all in just 12 single steps. So this is very, very important. And let's try to understand why with this appliance, you can save on deployment costs, you can reduce risks on, of doing it yourself, and you can implement cloud for the same price as a standard virtualization infrastructure. First of all, looking at the component, we have the Vertex, PowerEdge Vertex, which you should already know. And then we have the Windows Server hypervisor together with System Center as the Microsoft management stack and a wizard developed together with uh, one of our partners, technology partners, that actually customized the pre-installed cloud stack that you find uh, in the appliance to adapt to the uniqueness of the customer in terms of networking and authentication. So the good news is that this appliance goes straight from the Dell EMC factory to the end user location. Second, you get only one box in a converged infrastructure. Third, the deployment takes minutes. You just have to follow a light touch deployment to assign the right IP addresses and to integrate into the customer network. And out of the box, you get a full featured private cloud that with a couple of clicks can easily be extended and connected to a public cloud service provider like Microsoft Azure and with a couple of clicks again, can be configured to disaster recovery to another appliance on premise or to the public cloud, same for backup. So at the end of the day, you get hybrid cloud at the cost of virtualization. 
let's try to understand which kind of packages uh, we do provide as Dell EMC. We do provide, first of all, an entry-level package that we consider to be the entry-level, so a box for up to 25 VMs. So the average VM with uh, two virtual CPUs and um, four gig of RAM. So you can get the Cloud in a Box CBX25 appliance, and if you need more capacity, you're not going to pay twice for the management stack, but you're just adding Cloud in a Box extenders or CBX-E that you can just buy as a disaster recovery target or as a capacity extension, as we will see forward. Then, if you need more capacity, we have the CBX50 and CBX50-E, which provides three virtualization blades rather than two. And if you need more than that, so up to 100, then you need to engage a Dell represent EMC representative to go for a customized implementation, because usually the storage becomes the bottleneck, and we need to understand what workloads you're putting on those boxes and how much memory you're going to consume to size the appliance properly. So we just saw that from a customer uh, problem, we have three adoption barriers for, um, for cloud. Know-how, cost, and security. Let's start from the easy one, security. You get everything on premise. It cannot be more secure than that. And also, you can selectively decide which workloads or which services, like backup, for instance, or disaster recovery, move to the public cloud. When it comes to the cost, then we saw you can get these appliance for the exact same cost of what customers have today in their data center. And also, the deployment cost go down to zero because the wizard is easy enough for the end user to run. It also comes uh, in a simplifi with simplified procurement because you have like CBX25 and CBX50 as the 25 and 50 VMs appliance. So choice is also simplified. And when it comes to know-how, this is the third and last blocker, you don't need to know much about how to deploy a private or hybrid cloud because it comes already installed. And second, regarding the operational aspects, we use and leverage the standard Microsoft tool set, which is broadly known in the industry. So if I have to make a comparison between building a car yourself and buying a car yourself and just driving it, Everybody has a driving license, but very few people on the planet can build a, a car from scratch. Same applies with cloud. From a partner standpoint, what's the value of selling this appliance to your customers? Usually, there is the misperception that if I sell an appliance to a customer, then I have less services opportunities, I lose the money for the deployment, and I may look less uh, effective or less valuable to my customer. But actually, it's not that way. Let's try to identify the three areas where our customer can differentiate themselves from the, uh, the other competitors and make money. Number one, if you don't have much competencies around cloud, you're just not going to sell cloud. You're not going to implement anything to a customer, but cloud, it's a workload that it's booming these days. Everybody's demanding it, so having the ability to resell something without the complexity of actually deploying it, it's key. So very limited skills, you can just resell and make money out of reselling because no deployment is needed. If you have some skills, then you can not just resell the appliance, but operate the appliance, because thanks to the monitoring and backup and management tools, you can take care of making sure that the appliance runs properly over time. You can tune the monitoring aspects. You can create complex 
um, 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 dashboard, etc. And also, you can make sure that all the backup jobs and all the disaster recovery jobs are running, and you can basically manage the appliance on behalf of the customer. So, incremental services opportunities for you. If you are a top-notch partner in term when it comes to Microsoft Cloud Skills, you can also design some customized application monitoring, uh, one acceleration when it comes to multiple sites, and uh, really um, leverage all the powerful, uh, the, all the power of the system center stack that comes with the appliance to really make a difference, while saving on the acquisition cost, which is also a great barrier. If you just think about that, um, deploying such a system will take from five to man, ten man days, depending on your um, ability uh, and proficiency with the Microsoft Cloud stack, those are money you're going to save. And so you can make it more approachable for a customer so that you can sell the added value that you can get out of the box uh, post-deployment. Let's now try to understand what are the use cases for these appliance. Number one, let's assume you just have the need of uh, virtualization, so you just need a bare Hyper-V box, but you have lots of branches. So you don't want to send technicians all over the place in your distributed environment, maybe a school district, maybe a global customer with lots of branches, whatever. So you can get everything in a box, easy to ship. Actually, it gets shipped by Dell to the end user location. You just have to plug in the power cord, plug in the um, display, and then with a five-step wizard, you just assign an IP address to a couple of um, elements in the wizard, and you're good to go with a fully installed Hyper-V server, uh, cluster, sorry, that it's also connected to the customer um, Active Directory domain. So this allows for um, to have um, cost-effective Hyper-V deployments on scale. Option number two, the, the average SMB customer that may need uh, 25 or 50 VMs in his data center. They don't need a complex system, but they want to save money while getting all the benefits of a cloud uh, uh, system. So you can sell an all-in-one box to those guys and uh, um, unleash the power of advanced virtualization with cloud con connected to the public cloud. And uh, that's usually the most frequent use case. To this use case, you can eventually add disaster recovery to another appliance or to the public cloud, and that's the third one. And again, according to IDC, disaster recovery is one of the use cases where customers are most concerned, because staying uh, out of business today because of a uh, IT issue is just a no-brainer. It just doesn't need to happen. So if you have a customer concerned about high availability and business continuity, or disaster recovery with its own services, that's a typical scenario for you. You buy a one cloud in a box unit and a one cloud in a box extender unit if you want to do this on premise. And then by following a simple wizard, you see some screenshots in there, you can select what do you want to disaster over the other appliance. And if you are um, skilled enough, you can also plan for one accelerators during the path. If you don't have a disaster recovery site, which is, again, a very common scenario for most SMB customers, you can use the Microsoft Public Cloud as a disaster recovery target. And you can also orchestrate the failover from the on-prems to the public cloud thanks to the Azure site recovery. The last use case is distributed management. For those customers who have lots of plans, maybe, or lots of productive sites, but they do have in the main headquarter a data center that maybe needs more than just 50 VMs. 
So you can have a cloud in a box, the blue box that you can see there, with all the management stack uh, pre-installed, and a capacity extension in the main data center because you need just more than 50 VMs. So you buy a one or more cloud in a box extenders on premise. Then for the branches, you just deploy additional cloud in a box extenders that you connect to the main unit so that you can manage your private cloud distributed across multiple sites and eventually leverage some services from the public cloud as well. As we can see here, this is a quite complex scenario when you can implement centralized backup and monitoring, which is very good, but also IT as a service by implementing uh, um, IT process um, orchestration and automation, workflows with service management, and uh, disaster recovery. So again, lots of possibilities. Let's now take a look on uh, some financial aspects, because we said uh, that it costs as much as a virtualization platform. Now we can actually see that in action. I created a split between hardware and software for these uh, configurations, because you can either buy the software from Dell EMC, or if you already have it, you can use your own Microsoft licenses or you can buy them somewhere else. So when, for, when it comes to the CBX uh, appliance, so the one with uh, the um, cloud management stack uh, deployed into one blade, you will get a starting price of 30K dollars for 25 VMs. And as you can see, when you have 50 VMs, the price does not double, but it's slightly 30% higher because the management and the chassis um, um, uh, are not duplicated. You just need to add uh, some more capacity on the storage and some more, uh, one more blade. On the software side, this is the cost of the Microsoft stack to have Windows Server 2012 R2 and System Center 2012 R2 data center on each blade. Then. When it comes for a disaster recovery target, obviously you don't have to buy the blade with all the management stack again, so it's much more cost effective. And also, you can attach to those appliances what we use, uh, we, we described as one accelerators to optimize disaster recovery and backup. You can attach tapes because that's still a possibility or if you just need more storage for whatever reason, you can connect external storage to the PowerEdge Vertex to extend capacity, and you can also add additional switches for redundant connectivity or attach cloud services, like having Dell EMC managing your Microsoft public cloud um, um, uh, subscription on Azure. So that looks too good to be true. So we now want to demonstrate that it's actually so good that it's true indeed, and it's being adopted broadly. We are reporting some uh, wins that we had uh, in EMEA, that, and um, uh, also others will follow in the United States soon. So we have an IDC white paper describing the appliance, the use cases, etc. Then we have a public-facing uh, website where customers can just go there and ask for more information. We have public collaterals on YouTube uh, describing the appliance, showing all the wizard and how deployment works. We also have had uh, several wins in different uh, segments, from finance to education to public uh, markets, and uh, we also have a case study that I want you to guide you through. And, you know, it's quite uh, interesting that the first case study we actually had came from a bank. In this case, a bank got, uh, you can uh, uh, check it out um, on the public uh, website, 
basically this bank had uh, an issue, a regulatory and compliance issue, because it didn't have disaster recovery, and uh, the authority, the local uh, bank authority, was suing this bank because of this. So they went on the market asking to several vendors um, uh, what kind of um, so disaster recovery solutions they had, and uh, you know, Dell EMC won because with this appliance we were 20% cheaper than anybody else, and we did disaster recovery to the public cloud, uh, making it very, very cost effective for them. So, what happens when you spot an opportunity? You go to a customer, you spot an opportunity, now you need to register the opportunity on Salesforce uh, through a deal registration and in order to help us understand this is a cloud in a box opportunity, you need to add the proper product into the product category. Then when it comes to qualifying the opportunity, there are several collaterals available through the Dell EMC um, uh, people that work with you, but also on a public uh, drive that we set up for you when you can find videos, presentation, all the case studies collected. And then when the proposed time comes, customer wants a quote. So you need to engage with uh, the Dell EMC counterparts and ask uh, for a quote and, and then you're good to go. Just to provide you some insight, what's available internally? Quite a bunch of content. What's available externally? So visible from customers and partners, there is an hyperlink down here. When you get a full end-to-end -end deployment videos, you get the case studies, you get the IDC white paper, you get all the presentations and collaterals that come along with the appliance for you to understand how it works, what are the components, and uh, get a better understanding if that's the right product or solutions for you. That said, I encourage you to go on the public website, take a look at the collaterals, and thank you for your participation.